What's up everyone, I'm MattJS93 and welcome to episode 11 of Taking the Hybrid Road. So the first player we come up against has a quite a nice hybrid, except uh, he has Ramirez set as a CDM playing centre forward, which I didn't really get because everyone knows that Ramirez is a CM, so it'd be easier to convert him up to a CAM and have the orange chem link rather than have him as a CDM. Didn't really get that, but uh, as you can see by the title, I've named it Matri the Boss, because in this episode, Matri gets a hat-trick in every single game. So that is nine goals scored in three games, and as you can see, his front post finishing is absolutely second to none. I think he has only 80 shot power, feels more than that, but he has 90 finishing, I do believe. So he is finishing nine out of those ten, nine out of ten chances. So he very, very rarely misses, and he gets a hat trick in there with Jovetic getting the other one. And we do uh, kick start the episode with a very nice 4-0 win, picking up 916 coins from that um, game. Sorry. So, uh, second uh, game that comes up is against a, a Liga Portuguese side, but uh, I know that that defence is not very quick. Uh, per, uh, Pereira, is it? Pereira, uh, left back, is the quickest there with a newer 55 pace. Otamendi, 69, and that, um, that right back only has like 71 pace, so it's quite slow. So, uh, I knew Jovetic. Matri and Quagliarella were going to have a very, very easy game. But it didn't uh, seem to be like that because um, this guy uh, seemed to come straight back af at me after I scored. But that uh, free kick that I got there, when I hit it, I thought, oh, God, this is just going to hit the wall and be a waste of time. But um, fortunately for me, it just goes straight through the wall. The man on the uh, right edge, who I don't know who it is, just swivels out of the way and it just goes straight in the bottom corner. And it was quite nice. And uh, here, Quagliarella displaying his uh, beautiful uh, shooting ability. So uh, my strike force is pretty, pretty good. Quagliarella and Matri have definitely surprised me the most. Jovetic, he hasn't uh, shone through, but I think that's just because Matri, um, I know that he can finish so, so well. So I seem to be uh, giving him the ball more than anything. As there, I could have done a cheeky one too, but I decided to turn with Matri. And uh, it's a duplicate of one of the goals I scored just a little bit earlier on. Um, he's just amazing, basically. I would su definitely suggest, I think, going out and getting him. I think he's about a grand. I can't remember how much I picked him up for. But here, look at that. Menes flying through. And he just get absolutely wiped out from um, by the keeper. Sorry. And... Uh, I wanted to say next week uh, I'm off on holiday, so unfortunately there will be no videos uh, for you chaps. I apologise for that, but uh, obviously I'm going from very sunny weather to even more sunnier weather. And uh, on the screen here, obviously putting some more bids on uh, some players. So Felipe Santana and uh, Carlos Eduardo, 1,000 bid each because I've done a little bit of trading. Uh, uh, let me know if you want to see some trading. All I'm doing is the silver trading that I did from uh, uh, the random RTG. So it's nothing uh, special. There's no really new techniques. Um, I, I just stick to silver trading because it's sort of what I know and it's very easy and a term turns a very good profit. Uh, inform trading, EA tax and all that and it's quite high. I feel it's quite high risk and sometimes can take absolutely ages but with silver trading your players just seem to go because people are building uh, more silver teams because that's where I feel the uh, better players are. I'm certainly building silver and gold hybrids so I can compete in that. Um, four star, four and a half star range because that seems to be where the uh, better players are as I just said and just repeated myself but um, yeah uh, this game was uh, pretty difficult as well I thought it was going to be much harder than it was I can't remember what he had as his team he had, oh yeah, he had Nani on the left mid Evra um, I think it was a bit of a hybrid I'm not too sure, it was quite a while ago that I played this team uh, played these uh, matches but um as you can see, people have no ambition in this game, just running down the win, wing and whipping it in. But as you can uh, 
Why do I keep saying it, as you can see? But he does make it 4-3 there. I thought momentum might uh, play a part in the last uh, couple of minutes, but luckily for me it didn't. I managed to hold on for the 4-3 victory. Matri getting himself, obviously, another hat trick. That's why he's such a boss. But that is the end of the episode, lads. If you did enjoy the content, please do give it a like. Comment as well if you'd like to see me uh, do some trading. Uh, subscribe for more, obviously. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. I've been MattJS93. Thanks for viewing.